Hello, 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 I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. I don't know if you can tell by the background in my window, but we are currently at Surrey Hills. Reason being, I just want to, you know, explore this area a little bit. I've heard like a few new, newish cafes and, and spots have opened up and I really want to check it out. So in today's video, we are going to be exploring Surrey Hills to see what intrigues us to see what grabs our attention and also our stomach's attention so yeah without further ado let's go i was pretty lucky in the sense that i found street parking pretty quickly but let me just check the signs to make sure that we're okay i think what we'll do is we'll park for maybe just a couple hours for now and see how we go Okay, it is an extremely, extremely warm day. It's a beautiful day here in Sydney today. And what I want to start this video off with is a bagel. Now, this is a place that comes recommended to me by my sister. And what I have got is a cream cheese salmon bagel. It's got scallion, cream cheese, we've got capers, tomatoes. They make it fresh to order. I cannot wait to dig in. Look at this beautiful, beautiful piece of cured salmon. Can you see? My tripod is balanced. Very, very, um, what's the word? I'm just hoping there isn't too strong of a gust of wind because this will definitely blow over. But let's, um, let's do this. Wow, this is so delicious. This is amazing. There are so many different flavors that I'm experiencing right now. Let me try and break it down. So firstly, let's talk about the bagel. The bagel has a really nice golden brown crunch on the outside. And then inside, it's kind of got a chewy texture. And then inside we've got this creamy scallion cream cheese but you've also got that acidity of the cured salmon and the and the red onion kind of gives it a bit of a nice bite to it it's just really fresh it's really fresh i personally really like things that are acidic so i really enjoy this and you've got dill and tomatoes as well which helps bring everything together this salmon, this salmon is cured so well. So this place, they have a variety of different bagels to choose from. So when I walked in, I was like, which one would you recommend? And they recommended this one and also a steak one, which I saw them make it and it looks absolutely delicious as well. You can also go in and buy your own bagels and then put in your own fillings yourself. I have two pigeons that really want to join me. And so I'm trying to claim ownership of this before they try anything. Okay, another place that I really want to check out while here in Surrey Hills is a place called Load Pies. It is a relatively newly opened cafe here in Surrey Hills. And based on the reviews that I've seen and the pictures that I've seen, they do amazing sweet and savory like pies. Uh, I hope I'm not too late, but I'm hoping to pick up both sweet and savory and maybe bring some back yeah. for my sister as well. Okay, I literally just picked up like the last of the pastries. They didn't have many left. As I was leaving, there was someone else sitting there and he was like, can I buy off you? I'll pay you 500 bucks for it. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I really want it. We've got three different pastries. We've got savory and we've got sweets. So I can't wait. I cannot wait to try this. So yeah, I cannot wait to show you exactly what they look like. Okay, so I decided to do a very quick pit stop at a place called Yochi, which they do frozen yogurt. So this is essentially a self-serve situation. There's a whole variety of different flavors. There is strawberry cream, salted butterscotch, matcha. And in terms of toppings, they have a whole variety of different toppings. Typically, I usually go for mochi when I get frozen yogurt, but they told me they just ran out. So yeah, if you've never had DIY frozen yogurt before, you choose your flavor, 
you add your toppings, you weigh it, and then you pay. And what I've got is a coconut frozen yogurt, strawberries and watermelon mint as well. Just because it's such a hot day and this is more like a, this is just a very spontaneous detour before we head home and try some of these pastries. Something about coconut, something about watermelon, it just really helps dissipate the heat. It is a beautiful day today. It feels exactly like summer. Our trip in Surrey Hills is shorter than I expected because I really don't want these pastries to sit in the car for too long. So we're gonna cut our Surrey Hills exploration trip short, um, but I'm super excited. Super excited to show you exactly what we have in that bag. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier in this vlog, we have pies from Load Pies. I also brought back my bagel, like one half of the um, salmon bagel. My sister had it and she is absolutely obsessed. How is it, my friends? <laughs> yeah, the bagel. She's just had the, uh, the, the bagel. The... You don't want the other half, right? You can have it if you want. I already had like an entire half. The egg one looks all right, but... This is next level. Yeah, this is, uh, when I had it for the first time, it was so good. So this is the beautiful, beautiful pies. It still looks pretty intact. Some of the blueberries have fallen off a little bit, but other than that, this is, this looks absolutely beautiful. All right, let's give these pastries a go. I'm going to start with the chicken and leek pie. It smells extremely buttery, but let's cut into this and see see what is inside. This is what the inside of the pie looks like. The pastry is super short and very buttery and it's very like crisp as well. As I was cutting into it, I could hear the different layers just sort of crumble underneath the knife. The seeds on top of this pastry add a different texture and there's also a, a nutty flavor to it. In terms of what's inside the pie, it's just packed full of really tender chicken pieces, carrots, leek. I think it's also got some curry spices added to it as well. When I went today, I really wanted to try their, their special. I think that's it's the Lumi Wagyu beef pie. I'll correct myself in the edit if I said it incorrectly. But this chicken pie, this chicken pie is also amazing. Next up, we're trying the ham and cheese croissant. Now this looks, as you would already be able to suspect by the name, this is super cheesy. We've got a couple slices of ham in the very middle of this croissant, and then we've got some shaved Parmesan, I believe, and some chopped chives. Let's give this croissant a go. The croissant itself is incredibly buttery. It's very flaky and once you bite into it, you can feel all the different layers just crumble. And you've also got a little bit of a kick from the jalapenos as well, which isn't overwhelming, but the, the spicy kick cuts through the creaminess of the cheese quite well. What do you reckon? It's very nice. It's, um, it's very cheesy. Yeah, well, it is a ham and cheese croissant. But like, I really like the jalapenos. You can't really, it's there, but it's not overpowering. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. So people like you who can't take chili can still eat it. In terms of the two savory pastries that I've had today, the chicken pie and also the ham and cheese, I like them both. I am partial to pies. So, you know, if I were looking for like a lunch, I would go for the pie option. This ham and cheese croissant, I think it's a great item to get, to share as well. Anyway. Let's move on to the last item that we have, which is a sweet item, the blueberry tarts. So at the base of this blueberry tart, you have your croissant dough, and then you've got blueberry jam, you've got macadamia frangipani, you've got cream cheese, and it's topped with a generous amount of fresh blueberries and you've got some lime zest on the very top as well. The base of this tart, it's incredibly buttery, it's very flaky and as you bite into it, you can feel all the different layers just crumble. And even though this is quite buttery and it's also, you know, quite creamy from the cream cheese layer, the overall dessert, I wouldn't find that it's too rich. I think it's because 
it's got a lot of different textures going on. You've got the crunchiness and the nuttiness of the macadamia frangipani, and you've also got the lime zest on top. And I think the zestiness and, and the crunchiness, nuttiness, it kind of cuts through the, the creaminess or the richness of this dessert. And I, I quite like it. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you do head to Surrey Hills and you head to these places, let me know what bagel you end up getting. Let me know what pastries you end up getting. And yeah, that's, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week and I will see you in my next video. Bye. How is that, how is that jalapenos, Janice? Jalapenos. Are you sure? She used to say jalapenos. Your jalapeno. Oh my god.